I passed your solid wire MIG ticket almost every time. 30 volts or more. Do your fillet weld down here. Obviously leaving room for the next weld and then on your stop, when you start again, come back about half an inch to three quarters of an inch before the stop and burn right into it again. And then you're going to come back and you're going to fill in this and burn that edge away on that, uh, that bevel. And then continue to fill it up. Hot, hot, hot. The mill scale has got to go. So if you get coupons like this, you're going to have to argue with the inspector and say, look, i got to get rid of that mill scale or I'm not doing it. Give them, you know, be hard on them. And you can use um, a, a, a pipe welder zip cut, which is a little thicker than a regular 332 zip cut, and get rid of that mill scale, which also gets you down below those edges that you want to burn away. So you got to be careful of your fillet size, um, and you got to make sure that you're crossing over each one and burning into it. And that's why the high voltage, high wire speed is super important. 30 minimum and you got to move fast um other things stay calm and cool there's nothing to be worried about it's just a coupon test and if you fail you fail you learn something from it and then just do it again it's all good it's all good so i just wanted to touch on it one more time the stop starts are super important you got to burn into that stop start so you got to start before where you stopped about three quarters of an inch um on every single one of them small passes on the top not one big one not two big ones but three or four smaller passes is going to help with that face bend that's it Okay, that, that's not it. This is the one, this is the last thing. Pull or 90. Don't push. You're going to get more penetration. There's going to be a lot of argument about that, but that's true. 